Hey guys, it's time for some water. Oh yeah, so, what a good weekend. Uh, sorry for not very many videos lately. Um, just, again, I haven't really had a whole lot to talk about and I didn't want to just throw out videos of me going, yeah, I got up this morning and I went to work and then I came home and then I ate food. You know, I, I just didn't want to give you the boring details, right? So, uh, but, <laughs> I got up in the morning, yay! So, I did get up pretty decent Saturday and had a great morning of just watching cartoons or, well, it wasn't really cartoons, it was Power Rangers. Like I said, I'm still in the nostalgia state. I'm just trying to uh, rekindle all the shows and stuff that um, I used to watch as a kid and just get that. I don't know, feeling of being a kid again. I mean, it, it's just, it's stupid, but it's something that sometimes you have to just revert back to and understand what made you happy as a kid and, and see if it still does. And it kind of, it kind of does. And I had like the green Power Ranger like section there and I just kind of like, eh, you know what? It's, I loved this when I was a kid and that's still pretty interesting. And, not, and mainly, uh, yeah, I liked it and I still do. But not to like the major fandom of like, yeah, woohoo, Power Rangers and all that, right? And I don't know what this was, but, uh, but you know, it, it's just this idea that I, I can see what acting and all that sort of stuff back then compared to now and the kid shows of my day to, oh god, am I old if I'm saying that sort of phrase? But back in my day to what kids watch now, and it's just, I love what I watched back then, and I, I think it's so much better than what kids are watching today. Uh, but yeah, so I had a nice little, uh, not a little, full breakfast, um, and then uh, also made some muffins. Okay, here's a little tidbit for you guys. Um, you know how they say, you know, like, way to a man's heart is through his stomach? Well, as you guys know, I really don't eat, like, candies and things like that, really. I mean, my sweets come from tea and coffee and things like that. Uh, but there, there's one, and I don't know if I've mentioned this in my videos before. I could have. I don't know. I don't remember anymore. Um, the way to my heart and, and to my stomach uh, is muffins. Because I'm not a big fan of, like, cake and stuff like that. I don't eat that, really. Uh, but muffins, and specifically one type of muffin, because blueberry muffins, bleh, I'll throw them back at you. Uh, lemon poppy seed muffins are the, oh, so good, oh my gosh, they are just the best thing in the world. If you want to get on my good side, if you bake me uh, lemon poppy seed muffins, I will be your friend forever, and tell you something wrong, but, you know or try to give me blueberry muffins. Uh, so yeah, they're just the bomb. Uh, also, uh, most of Saturday I watched a lot of uh, Misfits. Uh, and I think I'm to season, I'm either at the end of season two or beginning of season three. Can't remember. Pretty sure I'm in season two, uh, about most of the way through. And loving it, oh my gosh, guys, go watch it. Hulu.com and look up Misfits. It's so good. Um, they have like all four or five seasons. I think it's five seasons. They're still coming out with new episodes, so definitely go check it out. Uh, link in the description. And so yeah, uh, so supper, I got um, pizza. I got a, went and actually got a pizza for once. I didn't just make a frozen pizza as I normally do. And we watched, we watched The Day of the Doctor. Oh goodness, so good. So many feels, so many feels. So many plot lines too. I mean, just an amazing, amazing episode. Um, I, I I can't wait to see how Peter Capaldi. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I said that right. Peter Capaldi. There we go. Some little, little more enunciation there. Not Capaldi. Uh, <laughs> I hope I hope to I hope he does a good job because of course I didn't like Matt Smith when he first came around and I'm worried I'm not gonna like Peter Capaldi because I've seen him in the thick of it, which is also on Hulu. <laughs> Link in the description. And he did a really good job on that show, and I really love his attitude. And pretty much any show I've seen him in, he has this kind of harsh uh, attitude with people, and I just love it. I mean, I love his characters and just him. He's just—I mean, I think he's probably a really super nice guy. 
but all the characters he plays is like this guy that you just don't want to cross paths with or you want to be on his good side at all times so yeah um so like uh so this morning of course being a sunday i uh, went to church and everything uh, and it was really good um i don't normally talk about uh that sort of thing i don't really talk about religion or church on my channel at all um but if you don't know i'm not that this matters you know anybody can wear these but i'm a christian and i believe and fear god very much and I l love uh, getting a really good message on Sunday and just feeling, if you say, um, refueled or revived, and and it was really good uh, this morning. Um, going through a book series, uh, fan or follower, and it's really really good. And it's we've gotten to the last video, and it's just been such a ah, such a gripping story. Uh, of a guy who um, has a heart attack and survives it and then he kind of comes to God and everything and then he also like I mean he just he just goes and like he uh, sells a lot of stuff he doesn't ha need anymore he sells his home and they move to a smaller home he quits his job because it was just immoral and unethical and he just he he couldn't stand it anymore they left that, and, you know, of course his family just doesn't understand, his friends don't understand, his dad doesn't understand, and and just going through the struggles of that, and then shortly, well, I don't say shortly, like a few while later, um, he ends up having another heart attack and just, and just healing over. And then everyone's trying to figure out, you know, you just basically you see everyone kind of, their reactions and everything going through, um, and, and just getting and trying to get through it and understand what he was doing and everything else. Um, so it was just a really good message. But um, one thing I definitely took away from today, and I decided to get off on a tangent here, but the thing I got away from this morning was to be um, satisfied or content might be a better word, but I think satisfied is a really good word on it um, with the things we have. And um, instead of always being like, oh man, I got this, whatever it is, and, but if I had this, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, it was actually kind of funny, I didn't laugh as much at it at first, later on I kind of, kind of, and I thought I didn't understand it, I just didn't see the total humor in it until I really started thinking about it and reflecting and blah blah blah, and he, the pastor told about, told a story, um, about a lady who is <clears throat> chilling at the beach, doesn't want to be in the water, so she kind of sits back. So her kid is playing there near the water in the sand, and a uh, giant wave comes in, crashing, <sighs> sweeps, a kid, <laughs> sweeps the kid out, and he's, he's just gone, right? And she's like, no! You know, just like, oh, uh, she's like freaking out. And she just starts yelling, uh, you know, and, you know, to God, or, you know, like, people that are like, Lord, why? You know, that sort of thing, and saying, um, it's like, Lord, why have you done this to me? I, I, I go to church, I volunteer, I, uh, you know, I, I'm such a good person, I have, um, I go to Sunday school, I, I attend everything I can, and help any way I can, and I tithe, and I, and I do all these things, right, all the things that, you know, we consider Christians to have to do, you know, to be a Christian, you know, and in church and such. And so the waves, a wave, big old wave comes back, crash and whatever, you know, and it goes back out and the kid is back. The kid doesn't even, whatever. Oh, well, that was fun. You know, he gets back to playing, you know, and a voice comes to her, you know, and, and says, uh, sorry, I'm making, really bad, at, really bad at this, I'm trying to tell a story, uh, <laughs> voice comes and says, all right, I heard you, all right, all right, well, there you go, uh, is there anything else, is there anything else that, uh, you know, can do for you, whatever, she's like, he had a hat on, <laughs> Oh 
but it's so true though it's so true and I, I just as I said I didn't even think about it like that in a funny way I mean everyone else in the in the church laughed but I, I was I don't know I didn't see the humor in it and then I thought wow you know I we're, we're very much that way I'm, 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 I'm gonna just end with one last one last couple things really quickly uh, so I filmed my death tag video today I just need to edit it and get it up and be good to go uh, so that'll be that was fun to try to film um, hopefully you guys like it and but I gotta get the editing done which takes a while because it's Windows Live Movie Maker and they don't make it that easy uh, and then went out supper tonight with parents and um, my dad's brother is in town and so it was good to see him again and see he's doing well and so yeah uh, thanks for watching um, uh, as always I'll catch you later